Hello and welcome everybody back to my YouTube channel. Um, no borders ASMR. And today I want to be doing. I'm going to be doing a movie review on um, on the Lightyear movie. Um, I know that this movie has sparked a lot of controversy uh, amongst the people, uh, especially people who are fans of uh, of this movie, of this uh, Toy Story franchise, and. Uh, but I'll, I'll be getting to that later on this video. But uh, right now, I just want to talk about purely about the movie itself. And take away from the controversy. I just want to talk about spoilers for you. And I'll talk about the spoilers. The first half of this video is going to be talking about the spoiler, spoiler-free stuff like the animation, but the plot. Not just explain the plot, but like um, you know, like the complexity of it and like um, yeah. I just want to talk about that stuff. The music that the movie has, and then the, the pace of the movie. And then uh, for the spoiler half, I want to talk about the characters, the creativity behind it, the ending, honestly, because the ending is, the ending is, I think the ending, the ending of the movie is pretty important. Not just the beginning, but how it ends. And then the voice acting as well. And then after all that, I'll um, talk about the well, what's the controversy, or what's, or what's like, the contrary to sparking, the movie's been sparking. Um, and then at the end of every at the end of every review, I'll give a total score of each section, and uh, then we'll wrap up the video there. But uh, for those who do not know about the Lightyear movie, I just get I'll get a quick synopsis from online, so because I'm not that really good at explaining things, so I just it's very short. So pretty much, the Lightyear movie is about the legendary space ranger Buzz Lightyear embarks on an intergalactic adventure alongside ambitious recruits, Easy. Mo, Darby, and his robot companion, Socks. Yes, this movie just recently came out on June 17th of this year, 2022. And, uh, honestly, uh, let me just get started. So, right now we're going to start with the spoiler free. So, the animation of this movie. Honestly, this movie has very, very good animation. I cannot lie. Very crisp. Like, the animation behind it. Um, you can tell how realistic it almost looks realistic. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It looks very realistic, and I really like the the fact that um the attention the attention to details of each character uh, on their face, and uh, and the attention to detail to the suits especially uh, that you get to see that that you see in the movie. Very like the attention to detail is very good. I like all that. it's very well very well. And if you're a fan of like the Toy Story franchise and and the character Lightyear, the Buzz Lightyear, you're gonna absolutely, absolutely love um, the attention to detail it gives. The movie gives. Um, I just, it's just very good. The production value is very high as well. It's very good. So you can tell they put a lot of time and effort into animating this movie, and uh, it just looks very beautiful. Like it's, just really, it's a very beautiful uh, to the eye just to watch, to watch that. Um, and honestly, though, um, out of five, the animation, I think. I would give it. I would give it a five out of five. I'll give it a five out of five. It's very good. Now for the plot. The plot. Um. um the plot's pretty straightforward. I don't. This. This. Nothing out of this world. I would say. No pun intended. Because you know, it's out of this world. Anyways. Um. There's nothing. Um. Too complicated, or, or nothing. It's nothing out of this world. Um, obviously, because it's a kids' movie, it's very um, it's very easy to grasp. Very easy to understand what's going on. Um, there are a few topics in the movie that are, you could say, are debatable. For if it's for a kids' movie, and that's what that's where the controversy sparks in. But I'll talk about that when it comes when the time comes. But um, overall, the plot's pretty good and. And um, there's not really, there's not much complaints to be honest. It's it gets you hooked right from the beginning. So from the inch from the from the beginning, the intro scene is very good. Everything is like, the plot rolls smoothly. I don't feel I at least in my opinion, I don't feel there's any plot holes. Maybe there's I'm not I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the Toy Story series or the franchise, but um, that that I know every little detail. But um, at least in my opinion, I'm, I'm also no critique expert, but in my opinion, I feel like I feel like the movie was the plot of the movie was very, very simple, very straightforward, and 
just it just kept the movie going. Like there was, I never felt like the like the like the plot was being what's it called? Um, I never felt like it was overcomplicated. So I felt like it was very simple, very to the point, and yeah, it, and it, and the the writing was very good in my opinion. In some parts, some parts were probably pretty uh, it's iffy, but. It's a kids movie. You can't really expect that much. That's why the animation is a five out of five. Because you know, kids like to see something that that is appealing to the eye, and like they'll keep them engaged. The, the the plot maybe isn't the the most interesting or the most intriguing, but the animation sure is. And honestly, I, it was very good. It like it takes like the animation was so good that that you can ignore some the bad of the other obstacle, uh, the bad of the other, the bad of other of the other aspects of the movie can be overshadowed by how good the animation of this movie is. But the plot, I would give it to, uh, it's not too, it's not, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. So I'm thinking in between, so I'll give it like a 3 out of 5. Moving on to music. Um, I feel like the music was appropriate for like each um, uh, scenario that was presented when it, whether it was the, the launching of space stuff everything honestly the music was was well was i, I like i personally like music was it is, is it the music that was in the movie is it something you would listen to no obviously not it's just like background music or like not background music but like music you would put like suspenseful music and and yada 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 so it's not there wasn't there wasn't no music that i personally would listen to after I, that I would listen to in my free time. It's just music, just music to add on to the to the scene and stuff like this. So the, the music wasn't. It, I don't think it was the greatest. I don't think it was the worst either. But the music is very forgettable. That's how I would say. Like it's you don't come away from the movie saying wow, like the music was the best, like so good. No, you don't. Because you honestly, I forgot half the, half the music went on. But I do remember there was music. Like as you as, as, as you can see. Um, yeah, there, there's n it's not even music. It's more like sound, like suspenseful, suspenseful music. Like it's I don't know, it's not it's not really like songs with the word lyrics in it, but more like music that adds on to the scene to maybe to make it more suspenseful, more comedic, forgettable. So I would give it a personally speaking, I would give it a two. I'll give it two out of five. And the pacing of the movie, I feel like the movie. Movie pacing is all right. It's pretty decent. Uh, uh, maybe there were some parts where they were stretching it out a little too much, like some scenes. But for the most part, um, pacing was all right. It was decent. It wasn't. It wasn't too fast. It wasn't too slow. It was right. I think it was right at the sweet spot. But I feel like towards the end of the movie, that maybe there was a bit more stretching out of the plot. Like, like the pacing. Could, I could feel like could have been a bit faster at the end. Too. I don't think there was no reason to slow it down. Like it wasn't slow, but it wasn't like I don't know. There was a, a spoiler for you, so I can't really talk about it. But yeah, there's not much I can talk about the pace. But just saying that it's it was decent throughout the movie, and like towards the end, maybe it got a bit slow, but could have picked it up a bit. And you know, but I'll give it a solid four, four out of five. So uh, the total score would be out of you see out of twenty, so that'd be five, three. That's eight. Plus two is ten. Plus four is fourteen. So I'll give it a fourteen out of twenty. Which is, if you do the math, let me indent it to the left. So it looks crispy and clean. Oh no, where is it? I got to indent. Can I just do space? I can just space it. I know. That, I'm sorry if I trigger those people. If you can leave it down in the comments, how do you get that too? But how do you get that numbers and stuff? There we go. 14 out of 20. Which, if you do the math behind it and you try to find a percentage, um, it would be exactly a 70%. So it's a C. It's, I give it a C. On screen, please put a C. Plus. No, it's not a C. Plus. It's just a C. Just put a C on screen, please. Just, Boom. You'll see it on screen. Boom. See. Uh, for spoilers. Now I'm gonna put a spoiler tag. I'm gonna put. There should be a black screen saying spoilers and caps and exclamation marks. You should see it come up right now. Okay. So, so for spoilers. 
Um, we'll talk about the characters now. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about the side characters as much, much, much. I'm gonna talk more about the main characters. So, first and foremost, I wanna talk about Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. I really like Buzz Lightyear's character a lot. Not just the design. I love the obviously I love the design, but I love the 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 way how he portrayed the the like the enthusiasm that's behind the character when it comes to being a space ranger and the the meaning of being a space ranger and the meaning of being a, a person that follows orders and stuff like that and like he's someone who's who's who at the beginning was always a who didn't really like how, getting help from others if if that makes sense he was more of a I have to do it myself and I have to do and I and I have to complete the mission myself which which I which is like which is obviously a character flaw and the, and the character has to has to learn throughout the movie to learn how to get help and get, receive help from others and and learn how to how to cooperate with others and that's something the movie does uh, fairly well but so pretty much um, Buzz Lightyear the character design was very well throughout the so that throughout the movie was very well designed um I think that Buzz Lightyear's um, I, I like how Buzz Lightyear didn't, didn't give you really a sense that he was naturally talented, but it was more hard work that got him where he was. I like that, and I think he, you know, Buzz Lightyear explains it while talking to his through his crew later in the movie. He explains how how he wasn't that good of a soldier either. Um, I believe it was at the mining scene at the dark side of the planet, and it was very well made. Um, so. I, Buzz's character, I really liked. I really liked that. Um, Mo, Mo, Mo Morrison. That is one of the crew members that, or the crew members that Buzz Lightyear meets. Um, he is a character. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Out of the main characters of the, of the movie, that was one of my least favorite characters. Um, and I'll tell you why I didn't like that character that much. I feel like, actually, I feel like what's it called? That that character was more there. For, that that character, Mo Morrison, and um, the old lady, um, which is if I can remember her, her character's name, uh, it was I think it was Darby. Those two characters. Um, I think the pairing of those two characters is what made made his character shine uh, but Mo the character Mo the character um, wasn't my it was my least favorite mostly because like a lot of his jokes and lines came from the pen it, the pen I mean it was funny but then I think it got really repetitive oh the pen the pen the pen but him saying the pen obviously it, it was like foreshadow like the pen was gonna have a meaning behind it because if you say it way too many times if it does not have a meaning and they're just just writing it out for no reason, but yeah, it's one of my least favorite characters because I feel like he he was I don't know he's one of the most useful, useless ones, but at the same time was very crucial with the pen. It's it's I don't know it's not not my favorite character in my opinion. Uh, moving on to Darby, um, Darby was the I actually really enjoyed Darby the uh, character um, because she was the um, she was the old lady from Parole. <laughs> I really like that. I like the fact that she was in jail, but uh, and stuff like that. And usually, I like how they did a little twist on the elders because usually the old old people in movies are nice, sweet, gentle, and and um and like you know it's supposed to give you a sweet and gentle vibe. No, the, this character completely changes. She's more of a oh, like a badass character, and like she. I remember the scene when they were they were running away from uh, the, the the robots. Um, yeah, the robots and and then they were shooting at him and then she she immediately got the bazooka bah, 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 started shooting at them. I, was, I thought that was very funny because the Mo, which I said is my least favorite character, um, he was more he was more um, hesitant to do it, but she was she 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 she, she was ready to pull the trigger. Bah, bah, and then I found it very funny. I like it. I liked her character a lot. Um, she gave me like. 
I don't know. I just really like that character. You know what that? You know what that lady reminds me of? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if it also does. But it reminds me a lot of the um of the old lady from uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. It, remi it, it reminds me. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I don't know. I don't know why it just does remind me of her, the old lady. But I, even though they're not really similar in like in like the way they are, but I just I, just, I don't know. It just reminds me of her for some reason. Anyway, so I'm getting sidetracked. Um, so I really like their character. Um, all the characters, uh, links in, just because Mo was my least favorite character, does not take away the fact that he was very, very well designed in terms of aesthetics and looks. I really liked it. Um, the, the, yeah, um, yeah, Darby. For me, Darby's behind, I think, behind Buzz is my, my favorite character of this movie. Like, I really liked it. I really liked it. It was very good. Um, and then there's, there's obviously Izzy. Um, before I talk about Izzy, I have to talk about, um, Buzz's, um, uh, Izzy, before I talk about Izzy, I have to talk about her, Izzy's grandmother, which is also a very important character, so I kind of went over her, which is my fault. Um, yeah, Izzy's grandmother was Alicia Hawthorne, which was Buzz's, I guess, best friend, yeah, well, yeah, best friend, and, like, most trusted companion, um, she was, um, she, she was, um, um, the, actually she was the center of the controversy, but I'll talk about it. She was, so she was cons uh, considered by balls, by Buzz Lightyear, um, the, one of the best space rangers. Or yeah, um, Alicia Hawthorne was considered the best space ranger by, um, by, um, Buzz Lightyear, and, and, Honestly, she, she didn't really leave a huge impact on the audience, but I feel like she left a huge impact on the characters themselves, as she was like a legend to them. Mm. And so, the character Izzy is, I believe, the granddaughter of Alicia. And and I feel like, and and the name Hawthorne was like, um, like a like a high. Like she, Izzy's grandmother left the name, like, like the, then the last name Hawthorne meant something to the to this, to these people, and so like, Izzy's Izzy's struggle, or character was to try to be like her her grandmother, which is, she later realized that she doesn't have to be like her grandmother. She has to find her own person, which I thought that was cool as well. But overall, the the main characters, which were Buzz Lightyear and the crew, Buzz Lightyear, Izzy. Hawthorne, uh, Mo Morrison, and then, um, and then, um, I always forget her name, and then, uh, Darby, those, those guys are always, um, uh, uh, the, like, those guys were always, like, I think it was a very, very well put together cast, and then, the uh, last but not least, it's gotta be another good character, and very good character, I would say, Socks. <laughs> Socks is like, in my opinion, like it's, it's like that that robot is. So for those who don't know, um, Socks is um. Socks is um. This companion that Buzz Lightyear received for emotional support because. Um, because of Buzz's mission, which was um. Trying to, trying to reach a uh, light, which was light light speed. I'm pretty sure your light speed. And every time he tried to do that, he would like. He would move in light speed. When every time he would try on light speed, he would always like move four years in the future. I'm pretty sure. Four years. And so four years would pass regular time, and then for him it would be like four minutes. So four minutes for him at light speed, and four years for the people back at the the, the, the planet they're stranded on. So in order to keep Buzz Light, you're like sane and like emotionally sane. They gave him a. Alicia Hawthorne gave him a. Um, a robot companion named Socks, which is a was a cat, and so, so um, I really like the cat or the Socks is a he's like he's 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 always been Buzz Lightyear's number one supporter or not supporter but like emotional support. He's always been there, and Buzz Lightyear at first doesn't really like the cat, doesn't like the idea of having it, but then as he, as the movie progresses, he he really liked the. He really started to enjoy his company, and then to the point where it became someone, something, or someone, or so, yeah, something or someone important to him. 
and uh, he's Sonic's a very funny character. Um, the cat is very funny, and it's actually very con the cat's very convenient, very smart as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so the characters I feel like they're all very well written. Um, individually, you can see the flaws, but as a collective, when you put them in a group, it just mesh it just meshes well and it really really well. So I'd give it a the characters are four out of five man. the creativity um this movie is very creative like when i say creative, i say very creative because of the tension of details they would add details that you would see in toy story to the movie like for example um something that i noticed is the spaceship the the the, the spaceship he used to to finally achieve hyperspace if you pay attention um, I'm gonna put it up on screen if you have. So I'm gonna put it up on screen. Um, the the spaceship is is um the exact same one that that is used in Toy Story to sell Buzz. Like you know, the packaging was a blue spaceship, and and Buzz was in it. And this 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 spaceship that Buzz uses is the same is is exactly the same. So I like the attention to detail that they used, and also the. Something uh, something else I really liked about the the movie is the um, is the um the suit design. The suit design is they look very nice and clean, and crisp. Uh, the suit design, especially the Space Ranger, how it, all the multi functions it has, like but like it was all callbacks to what uh, Buzz used to call them when he pressed the button, but nothing really happened, so we all laugh at yeah, Toy Story. But in the movie, you get to see what each button actually does, like the like the invisibility the invisibility button and the and the gun and the laser that comes out and then his um where where in Toy Story it'd be a sticker but that'd be his like where he would record or he would note down his um his um mission details and stuff like that and it's like like it was very satisfying to see everything very crisp and uh and I, I liked how it just it wasn't just the green the green space uh, ranger suit but they were they also showed like a <sighs> I'm gonna put it up on screen, but I think it also showed like red, red, and stuff. like a red one or a blue one. I'm pretty sure it's like different colors, ranges, but they look very nice and crisp designs, and I really enjoyed them watching them. They were really, they were very pleasing to the eye. So the creativity was off the off the roof, especially, especially with um, like the the, the attention detail stuff like that. So creativity was very well, very well. I'll give it a five out of five. The ending. Um, I really enjoyed the ending because I liked how how Buzz's enemy um, was Buzz's enemy was himself from the future. It was it was for kids maybe it was a bit hard to say, but for people who were much who were adults and like or not even adults but like you know people like I say from middle school and up you would understand it or maybe yeah kids who are in middle school and stuff and up would understand it easily. But Buzz's villain Buzz's villain which is um Buzz's villain who is um who is Zerg or the thrower. Um it was there was actually a the, the plot the plot twist. I don't really remember if they mentioned it in Toy Story, maybe it probably did, but that the Zerg is actually Buzz Lightyear or an evil Buzz from the future. That came back to the past to to warn this this Buzz. But pretty much the because of because the buzz from the future came back, it, it actually triggered the timeline where Buzz actually stayed good, if that makes sense. Because um, he actually got to know the people. Because if it, it, yeah, for, because throughout the movie, Buzz does does not settle down at all. He doesn't settle down. He feels uh, he feels guilty for what for for the mission. He feels guilty. He, he feels guilty that everybody's there because he messed up the mission. Um, a quick recap. Um, the the uh, Buzz Lightyear went there. Buzz Lightyear and uh, and Alicia Hawthorne, and there was also a rookie. I forgot his name, but there was also a rookie and a group of scientists and all them. They like I'm pretty sure it was a, a group of people that were the best of the best, best scientists and stuff that were sent out to space and to look for like for like suitable life or a suitable planet to inhabit life, and they they found this planet. And they landed it, and then Buzz Lightyear, Alicia Hawthorne, and the rookie were sent to explore before they would they, to explore the planet and see if it was it was even worth like defrosting the people or not defrosting or people who were in 
people who were sleeping, but they were like frozen, and 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 it turned out that the planet was like inhabitable because of the the ply monsters that were there. Uh, like like there was creatures there, but they were they were they were a danger uh, to for life to prosper, like humans, for human life to prosper. So they decided that they were going to leave on the ship. They were going to leave, but at the same time, the 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 plant monster or the monster not the I want to say monster because I'm tired of this but the the plant the plant creature um uh, attacked Buzz and, and Alicia and then the rookie and uh, as they were escaping Buzz Lightyear had to had to make a rough escape and hit the cliff of a rock there and so they were stranded and so Buzz carries his guilt that because of him everyone had to stay and couldn't go home so because of that, Buzz kind of build, didn't really build a relationship with anybody on the ground, and didn't really try to like settle down and meet people and stuff like that. So his fo- his main focus was the mission, was the mission. So he would he would do the the jump, four years would pass by, come back, and straight to another mission, straight to another mission, straight to another mission, n- another mission. So he would never settle down. So we didn't really get to understand or live the life. So so Buzz would 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 jump would would uh, jump into like. Uh, light speed and uh, and try to figure out to uh try to stabilize and find a way to find a stabilize and find energy to to reach light speed but all of this was was also time consuming maybe not for him but for everyone else so they came to a point where she, her, his friend Alicia was was like 80 years old and he was barely his he was the same age as he was there cuz it was only like what an hour for him because it was he was going 4 minutes 4 minutes 4 minutes 4 minutes and her and it came to the point where she died, while he was in light speed, and and that was that was very sad. For, that was like that. That's when he died, when she died, that's where Buzz got the the news that he the mission was over. There was no more. They were gonna settle down there, and that's where Buzz's guilt, and not Buzz's guilt, but like like oh yeah, guilt. Buzz's Buzz's um, it's, it's I don't know. It's that's where he starts like. I feel like he starts losing himself because imagine like someone his whole purpose of life and even when his friend died was to find a way for them to go home but then suddenly you tell this person to stop so then like it's kind of like an empty feeling inside so so Buzz um, finally reaches finally reaches light speed and figures it out but but because of the evil Buzz like, when he comes back the Zerg has already invaded the planet and everything and so, because of the Zerg or the future Buzz coming back and doing all this, the 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 the, the Buzz that we've been following throughout the movie actually gets to co- uh, uh, interact with the characters from from the from who who settled down there and stuff. So, so I guess you can say Buzz helped himself in the end uh, eliminate all the dark all all the dark feelings and all the and all the all the demons he said he had inside. So, it, it was a very nice ending. I really liked the ending. How how Buzz's biggest villain or enemy was himself because of his of his, of his stubborn way of thinking. So, he finally let go of all those feelings and and finally got rid of the person of who he didn't want to be anymore. That was his old self. And you can see the the Buzz if the Buzz continued that same way, how he would have turned out. But honestly, very well written ending, and I give it a five. I'll give it a five. I liked it. And the voice acting, honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I'm voice acting. I don't know. I, I really don't got anything to complain. Everything sounded nice and clean, clean, crisp. No one sounded out of out of touch. Everything sounded nice. Like everyone was very, very good voice actor. And I like the I like the diversity of people. Like in terms of like there was a there was a there was like Hispanic and Latino incorporation. There was African American obviously corporation incorporation. There was um, Caucasians. Uh, I think I think if I remember correctly, there, there was there was a, I think everyone got a little bit of uh, screen time in terms of like inclusiveness. But honestly, I thought it was alright. Mm, I think th- for me the best voice like the person who stole away the voice I think had to be. Um, Pretty uh, easy's character, who was voiced by um, I forgot her name. Let me let me see who it is. Hold up. Was voiced by Kiki Palmer. 
I really, I really like her, her performance in this. I wasn't, I'm not saying it was, it was like, oh, the best Oscar-worthy performance or something like that. No, but it, I, I liked, I liked, uh, I liked the, the, the enthusiasm, enthusiasm of the character and stuff like that. I like, everyone did a fantastic job. This doesn't say everyone else did a bad job. I, I think everyone did a fantastic job. But I'm just saying, like, like Buzz Lightyear or Kiki Palmer, uh, voice acting on Easy Hawthorne was pretty nice. I liked it. It was, I don't know, it. It um. It it really like brought the character to life. Or I think she brought the character to life. Or Izzy Izzy Hawthorne to life. Like a like a child who tr or a kid trying to follow in her grandmother's footsteps, but messes up in the way, and then finds herself. Which I thought cool, and I like the irony, or like that. Not that is it. Is that the word with irony? I don't know. I like the how. How Izzy tries to be a space ranger, but is afraid of space. I like it. It's funny, but. Sometimes you gotta overcome those fears to, you know, really, or push yourself to overcome those fears to uh, be what you want. So, I guess it can sense a good message. But voice acting, I just give it a, a three, three to five. Um, total, total score would be five, five, ten, plus four. Five, five, ten plus four is fourteen plus three is seventeen. So seventeen. Seventeen out of twenty, and that. Seventeen. I'm sorry. Sorry, that was a bit loud. But seventeen out of twenty, that would be eighty-five percent. So a B. It's just a regular B. So this would be a C minus. This would be a B. Yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about the thing. And uh, I do apologize if uh, <laughs> some of my explanations were not really like it confuses some people, but. I'll work on being better at explaining things. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not that good at explaining things, but hopefully you guys understood a bit what I was trying to convey and uh, the controversy. But now, the controversy was the the kissing of the same sex in the movie, which was Alicia Hawthorne and her girlfriend slash I think wife at the time now spouse. And there was a kid. There was. It was like. It was like a greeting kiss. Like, it was a kiss, like you would, like you'd expect for someone receiving some. I don't know. Like it's like a. It, for me, it looked like a, like a husband coming from work and just giving a, a hello kiss and, and then walking in. You know, if if you guys understand what I'm saying. And honestly, I under I I understand the people who who don't who don't like this. I understand it because it's a kids movie, and kids, you know, you know. Kids are young, and and showing kids things like this might confuse them, and it's and it's probably something that a lot of parents don't want to show their kids. To be honest, uh, and, and all honesty, kids kids have no clue what's going on and stuff like that. So it's it's better in my in my opinion to leave this kind these leave, leave this kind of things out and maybe put them in. Put, it's I think it's okay to put them in adult movies because you know people are growing people people have already format formatted their own opinion and values and beliefs and what's right or wrong and as they go as they grow older but as a as a kid I'm pretty sure that I think that's a parent shop to 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 instruct them what's right or wrong or what what they believe is good so I don't think I think I think Disney or Pixar were rough whoever animated this let me check again who animated this okay. uh, Pixar I'm pretty sure it's Pixar Disney and Pixar, it's the same thing. Um, I think they messed up by doing that. I feel like if 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 they, and I know that in, the, in this time and age, it's all about inclusive, like include be inclusive and including all types of people. But I feel like you should leave that stuff out for some for not kid, don't leave. I feel like you should leave that things for something else, not not for kids movies. Let the kids enjoy the movie and you know I feel like this people really I feel like people are hitting on this movie a lot because of this. If and trust me, if if they remove this scene. Or if, if they just never incorporated this thing, because this thing, this would have been all over the, I, I guarantee you, it would have blown up. It would have been all over the place for the right reasons. Everyone would have loved it. Everyone would have, I, I believe, I honestly believe everyone would have loved it. Because of, like, it's, I don't think it's a bad movie. It's not the greatest movie, it's not the worst, but I don't think it's a bad movie. It's a very entertaining movie. People were trying to find identity and stuff like that, but that's just my opinion. And, yeah. That's, that's really much all I gotta say. So that was the Lightyear movie review for the spoiler-free section. 
it gave a score out of uh, 14 out of 20, which is a C. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, I'm kind of giving like a score rating, but it is what it is. And for spoiler, and for the spoilers rating, I gave it a, a 17 out of 20, which is a B. So overall, a B and a C. So let me see, out of 40, let me give the overall rating. So overall score. Overall score would be out of 40. Out of 40. Oh. So 17 plus 14, that'd be. I think that'd be 31, which is 77.5, which is a C plus. So I'll give this movie a C plus. So honestly, honestly, there's nothing that I, uh, this, there's nothing I really have to say about the movie. That's all I have to say. And um, and yeah, so that's all I had to say. Nothing much. Hope you guys enjoyed. No, let me know what you guys, if you see the movie, let me know what you guys think. And, um, yeah.